Wait, what happened to Will? Hey makers, it's Yana with Makis, and today we're gonna look at the Cricut Design Space latest update version 7.20 and, and their new menu where they took away Weld from the visual menu and created a sub-menu called Combine. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for more helpful tutorials. Here we are in Cricut Design Space. If you can see right here on the right hand side, we have slice, now we have combine, attach, flatten, contour. So with this menu, the only difference that we see compared to our previous one is now in the second space, there is no more weld, but there is combine. But don't worry, weld is not totally gone, it is hidden inside combine. Right now, because I don't have anything on my screen, Combine and all the other ones have been deselected. So let's go ahead and take a shape. I'm going to go to the left hand side, pick a shape. Let's go with a triangle. And let's pick another one. Let's pick a star. So now we have two shapes on the screen. If I overlap these shapes, and I select both of them, so go ahead and just select both of them. Now we see that the menu on the bottom has been highlighted and right now we can either slice, combine, attach, or flatten. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this new combine menu. As soon as I click combine, we have this little pop-up. Weld is still here, right on the top, and it functions just as we did before. But we have this new additional features. So we have Unite, subtract, intersect, and exclude. And what I see is that Cricut is creating these new features that we can use for us to be able to cut and create new designs much simpler, much faster, much, much easier. And if you haven't played around with other programs, for example, like Adobe Illustrator or Affinity Designer, these are similar features that we have in those more advanced programs. So Cricut is uh, advancing their, their Cricut design space and creating new features like this. But to be honest with you, I even, you know, after being designing for so long, I forget which which one does what, especially between exclude and intersect. So let's go ahead and just play around. With, with well, it does the same thing exactly as this has been done before. Let's go ahead and hit weld. So as you can see, the two shapes have been welded or kind of morphed together into one new shape. shape. And as uh, on the right hand side, you can see the weld result. So with weld, it functions just as if done before. And I'm thinking they just left it here as weld, just so people who are used to this term and used to how it works, it is stayed the same. It is um, familiar and thing for them to do. So it's familiar for you to use. But let me go ahead and do another one. Just gonna take some new shapes. I'm gonna put them right here. Again, I'm gonna just slightly overlap so we can see what we're working with. I'm gonna set them together. And combine, now we're gonna try Unite. So as you can see, essentially the, the little icon is showing you what it does and it's pretty much the same thing. So when you hit unite, your results are the same. So if you look at the shapes at the top and the shapes right here, they have morphed into one new shapes. However, with unite, if you look at your layers menu, now we can see that the shapes are still able to be selected on your layers. Opposed to the one that is world results, they're one new shape. So they are not uh, able to be undone unless you click undo in one step. So now if you see and unite, the best thing is now you can still move your shapes around and create new results when you unclick it. 
So this is very interesting and very helpful because you don't have to be worried about your weld because you cannot undo it after certain steps and you can still play around and, and, and create new shapes. Let's see if you are designing something and it just didn't work out the first time you did weld, you don't have to keep going back and forth. So with that, you can also do un unite so undo unite and what you're gonna have if you see on your layers panel they're back to their individual shapes if you select each one you can still separate them and they can be just as they were before so this is really great compared to the weld personally you can just ignore weld as it's an old feature old thing and, and do what you need to do with your um, designs just using Unite. So look at, let's look at one more thing. So now we have these two shapes. Again, I'm gonna overlap. Let's select them. And let's take a look at Combine again. I'm gonna try that one more time. I'm gonna Unite. And what I wanna show you is in this submenu again, we have Merge Layers. It could get confusing, but Merge Layers is exactly the same thing as doing weld. Okay, so let me show you. Hit merge layers. It's definitely a different term, but the results is the same. So when you merge layers, they become as a single layer. So if you had a bunch of layers and you're creating and it's I mean, right now you can see it's only a couple of shapes here and there, but when you are have an intricate design and you have layers within layers and within layers, and you know you want to keep these together as one, one shape, you would want to do merge layers. So essentially weld and merge layers are exact the same term, ex exact the same function. It's just uh, Cricut is keeping weld, I'm um, guessing for now, because people have been used to the term and they know what it does. So that's what we have here. Now let's go ahead and take some new shapes again and we're gonna try the other features inside the combine. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and overlap the shapes. I'm gonna select the two shapes and gonna go back to combine. And now let's try subtract. So subtract, as shown here, the, the object on the top is going to be subtracted from the object on the bottom. So let's go ahead and click that. So as you can see, what happened here is the triangle has been subtracted from the circle shape. So depending on the design you're creating, this is what you want to do and when you uh, work with these shapes. What I love about this, again, on the layer side, subtract, have both the triangle uh, shape outline and the circle. So if let's say you are working and the triangle or whatever design that you have is not exactly what you envisioned when you created this, you can go ahead and still select it, move it around to wherever let's say you wanted it centered and now it is what it is um, still work together. Again, if you keep it both selected and you click on the combine, you can either undo subtract or merge layers so it becomes this new one layer. So let's go ahead and merge so you can see. Now we have merge and we have this new shape that we created. Let's take some additional shapes and play around some more. Let's do the square and another shape right here. Let's uh, let's do this right here. Let's go ahead and overlap one more time and let's select both of them. Again, we're going to go into combine and in this case, we're going to do intersect. So what it did is the parts of the square that were overlapping with the hexagon have been intersected or, you know, the overlap part 
is now what you see here. Now again, like I mentioned, you're not gonna remember this when you're working with your other, you know, with your design. Just play around and see if it creates the effect that you want it to create. If you didn't like it, you can undo it, just like these other new features. And also, like the previous ones, you can go ahead and move them around and, and create a better result. So this shape and this shape creates this new shape when it's intersect. Again, we can either leave it as is, so we still have these two shapes, or go ahead and hit combine and merge layers. I'm going to leave it as is for now and create one more. Let's go ahead and use this one right here. And another shape. Let's go ahead and use this half circle. Again, I'm going to overlap, select both of them, and can do combine and do exclude. So now intersect and exclude are opposites. So intersects keeps the shape that has been overlapped and exclude is going to create this hollow, the shape that has been overlapped. So let's go ahead and exclude. So as you can see, the part that was overlapping has now created this new, new pattern, new design. Again, just like with these other ones, we have on this layer menu, we have kept, you know, the half circle and we have kept the square. So if you want, you can still adjust and you can create what you need because it's still two individual shapes. When you're ready, you can hit combine and you can merge layers. So now that you know about these combined features, are you really going to use weld? Let me know in the comments below what do you think about these features and if you think they're confusing or actually helpful. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see more tutorials like this. Talk to you soon. Bye.